WTFNN. Headline News Update. Everyone, Basil Chapman here for the Tiger Financial News Network 11 a.m. market update. We're looking at the Dow up 340 points at 35,240. This is fabulous action. We were talking about that. We wanted to see a move that's almost a one to one move above this blue trend line. We've, we're getting that. I like it. Day is young. Anything can happen. Last couple of days, not yesterday, but up until then, there, were, there was always selling at the end of the day. And yesterday there was buying a fabulous move to the upside. IBM is certainly helping that. We're looking at the S&P trying to follow. Mm, it's it's good. It's up 17 at 44.79. The QQQ, of course, with Netflix in it, it just got hammered. It's down two and three quarters at 343.57. It's really struggling. Same with the IWM. Russell, what I mean by struggling is that it's struggling in its pattern, but it is, isn't up nicely on the day, 179 at 203.30. What's interesting is that you're getting that we were th thinking of a commodity uh, digestive phase over the next week or so, and that could correspond with the TLT. Uh, the gold is pulling back. Gold is down five. Not a big deal, but just digesting gains. Crude oil, same thing, digesting gains um, up 68 cents at 102, just in the range. But really what is interesting is that if you look at the TLT, that is the bond uh, ETF. Look at this. First sign after the little doji candle yesterday, 119 was a low. That 120 level moving above it now would be a really good indicator and suggest strongly that bonds are going to rally at least for a little while. Maybe try to get to 124, 125, and then maybe retest the lows. But in the meantime, a little bit of a counter trend move, which should help. Um, it should help the market. It isn't helping the financials, funnily enough. Although the financials are up, they should be up much stronger. They're up uh, 43 cents at 38.05 in the XLF. Still pretty good action, not bad. It's just, you know, I, I think uh, we're going to watch this closely. And the other thing that we've got to keep in mind is that the VIX index, the volatility index, which is dropping sharply in the H pattern at 1998. If it's able to hold in the 19s today, or maybe go even lower than that, that's really going to help the close on the, on the Dow and the S&P. But if it suddenly starts to rally and gets to 20.70 as the market sort of soars, maybe only the Dow has a good update and the rest start to fail again. So this is a very important moment, but so far, really good action. And I just want to mention one thing. Yeah, so, um, yes, yeah, so... Just for my subscribers to open the call, I will try to get my newsletter out tomorrow. I'm away for the day, um, and uh, that's the opening call. And the target conditions are I will not be here. Have a wonderful day, and stay tuned for Larry. Wonderful program. He's got a wonderful guest, as always. Have a good day. See you on Friday.